Hey, cute stuff. Hey, welcome to another Pick a Card with me, Duchess, where we going to find out exactly what it is that you need to know right now. So we are doing a mystery message. I've seen a couple of other readers do this, and it just means here, whatever message that comes out here, it's going to be for you, but it's a mystery until you open up and see what it is, boo. All right, so make sure that you are tapping into your intuition. Yes, yes, yes. And you're looking into these images, honey. And then go ahead and choose the one that's calling out to you most. Yes, choose based off your intuition. If you have problems with your intuition, you can use a random number generator. It does work, baby. I promise you it does. Okay. Now let's go ahead and choose our image and get started here with these reveals. All right, power one. Hey, cute stuff. Hey, I'm like, y'all getting me a little close in today because I'm on my iPad instead of my phone. All right, spirit, give us insight here for power one and what the mystery message is. And of course, I'm inviting you to come hang out with me in Orlando for the three day tarot slumber party retreat. Okay, we are doing the damn thing. We are meditating. We are manifesting. We are healing. You get to do one on one readings with me. We having a dance party. We got our own indoor pool. We're eating. We're drinking. It's gonna be a hell of a weekend and you deserve it, boo. So check it out all right let's see here spirit what is the mystery message for pile one so we got truth be told so it looks like you or someone that you know may be expressing some sort of truth we're gonna find out more about this truth what truth is coming out here for pile one see this is a truth that's slow to come out okay there's something i almost feel like you might I feel like this truth might be coming from someone. It's slow to come. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Wait a minute, honey. Wait a minute. Okay. So, pile one. There's definitely some truth that is coming out. Somebody is slowly moving towards you to express some truth. Or they may be, you know, already started expressing it. But I feel like this person, for the most part, is slowly moving towards you to express some truth that they feel this certain tie to you, okay? We got the Loyal Hearts card, and we got the Soulmates card, okay? So whoever this person is, they're wanting to profess or confess either some feelings, some emotions, some need to get closer here to you. You can see these two owls are looking at each other eye to eye, so this person may want to get, you know, on the same page with you, get eye to eye, make sure y'all can cooperate, come together. The soulmate's energy, you can see this sense of cuddle and this sense of comfort. So this person really wants your warmth and, and this sense of closeness here with you. This is someone here that you have an unfinished symphony with, okay? Meaning there's unfinished business between you and this person. And they do feel, okay, that it's very blessed here when it comes to y'all's connection. So this person is going to be confessing some things or expressing some things or opening up about some things here when it comes to your connection. Now, uh, 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 a confession is always good. Talking, speaking up, speak of ever hold your peace, honey. That's always good. But we want to know here, we got to ask a little bit more info when it's regarding another person confessing something because sometimes it's good sometimes you know there's been times i got excited honey they were like oh somebody's ready to confess and i'm thinking it's one person and then it'd be somebody that i didn't even want to talk to i'm like don't even warn me about this person because they're a non-factor like i literally don't care okay but we're gonna find out who is this person that wants to confess profess what is going on here what does paul one need to know about it See, this is someone here that felt like you wanted to end things anyways or you didn't really care for them anyways. That there was an ending to putting in the work or they felt like they didn't really have to. Or for some of you, this could be someone that felt like they didn't really have to put in the work for this connection. Or they ended the connection because they was too busy focused on work. They're saying that as time has halted, though, that this person has been thinking about you quite a bit. They've been looking at their life and they want some sort of changes. They want some shifts. And that change involves a new emotional start here with the Ace of Cups. OK. Hmm. Let's 
So outside of what this person wants, Spirit, what's your advice for the collective when it comes to this person? Let's talk about that because we know this person coming with a confession. But what's your advice for the collective as far as this person's confession? What's your advice? What's your advice? What's your advice? Hmm. They're saying here that, <laughs> okay, that it's a time to assess and look at the opportunity and see if it can bring you some happiness or not. So spirit is telling you to decide, use your intuition if this is a good opportunity for you or not. They're saying here, look, you see how he's looking at this little, look at the opportunity, Okay. And you need to decide, is this a battle that you can win? Like, basically, is this a winning situation or a losing situation? Because the Five of Swords is about battles. There's only one winner. Is this a winning situation or a losing situation? And then from there, they're saying, be open to what magic can happen. See what value is being brought to the table, okay? That you can successfully navigate this because you're in the right mindset. And that you're going to be, again, assessing this as an opportunity. Is this working for me? Is this offer any good? Is this something that I want? You get what I'm saying? So spirit is saying that your position here is just to decide, do I want this? Is this a good opportunity for me? Is this something positive for me? Is this something healthy for me? Does this make me happy? Whatever it may be, whatever questions you need to ask yourself, because there's going to be intuitive questions coming to your mind. Spirit is saying to take heed of this and use that to make your decision as to this connection versus just because they want to get back together and they're excited and it's the ace of cups for them okay whatever that may be it could be a lover most definitely of course it could be a friend it could be a family member but it's somebody that wants your love and attention they want to come back around but it's going to be up to you to decide is the offer worth it is the offer relevant is the offer sufficient is it something that works with your energy so spirit is saying that's 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 the line okay so please like share comment subscribe follow that all helps times a million donations are always greatly appreciated i'd love to see you in orlando i'll be talking to you later boo bye all right pile two hey cute stuff hey all right so we gonna find out the mystery message for you today mystery message number one was kind of juicy baby so i'm hyped right now okay so we're gonna find out what this message is and of course i want to invite you to hang out with me in orlando for the three-day tarot slumber party retreat where we are gonna have a hell of a good time baby we are meditating we are manifesting we are healing of course okay we are doing one-on-one -on -one readings with me we're having a dance party i love dancing i took it for years okay we're gonna eat good food drink good drinks we're gonna have our own indoor pool it's a hell of a good time so Treat yourself a little bit and come hang out with me because you know you want to. Now, let's see here what the mystery message is for Pile 2. Spirit, give us insight. Mystery message. We got exchanging gifts. Okay, so I'm hearing a balance of power, a balance. There's some sort of balance happening with this exchange. Hmm, let's talk more about it. Let's talk more about it, Pile 2. Okay. Mm. Okay. So you're being told here that there's a lot of balance that's coming into your life right now. Okay. And there's, there is this even exchange. Okay. There's like a shift in power because it's like a sense of you having your own level of empowerment. They're saying here that there's a major change in you, okay, that's making you change your tribe and your vibe. There's a major change in you. And so changing your tribe and your vibe means you chopping wood with the tribe and the vibe that hasn't been working for you. It hasn't been an even exchange. As a matter of fact, it's been an uneven exchange. It's been nothing but problems, stress, headaches, frustration, things not coming together the way you wanted to. Nothing but problems. Okay, so with that here, you're like, wait a minute, I need to build a tribe that brings happiness, that brings peace. And so you're being told here that this is part of your fate. This is part of your destiny. So if you feel like you're not resonating with certain people, certain personalities, certain places, certain things, that is because it's part of your destiny here to make a change and a transition in your life. That tribe that worked before no longer works for you. It doesn't mean that it didn't work at one time. Yeah, that was the old you. But the new you, the healed you, the abundant you, the happy you is now in alignment for a new tribe. 
Okay. And so you're going to be making a lot of changes here. And these changes are fate. So it's not something you want to fight against. It's not something you want to be fearful of. It's not something you want to stray away from. That ultimately, there's this energy here of a higher power that's calling you to go on this journey. So there's going to be certain people here from your old crew, from your old tribe that ain't going to like this. They're going to be trying to pull you in. They're going to try to call you back. They're going to try to deter you. They're going to try to guilt trip you. They're going to try to shame you. And during these times here, it's up to you to connect with source and get truth, which is you're not hurting them because you're not doing anything to them. You're just not spending a lot of time and energy on them. You're not focused on that connection or that tribe because you're focused on something else, which is your God given right. And a matter of fact, that's what you're being led to do. So you're being told here that as you do that, I'm hearing cut the strings. I heard no strings attached. That old in seek. I don't know if that was an album or a song. I think it was a whole album. But ultimately, I was an NC fan in my day. Okay. But ultimately, it's up to you here to trust the higher power, which is telling you that you are going to now create a new sense of home, a new sense of peace, a new sense of comfort here in, a, in where it's more co-creative. OK, where it's more we're doing this together, where it's more we're working as a team, where it's more I give a little bit, you give a little bit. OK, it's not you give a lot of bit and they give a little bit. No, there's a balance. There's a balance in the exchange here. And this is one that has been very necessary because spirit is saying that that was very taxing on you emotionally, very draining on you emotionally. And at times you didn't even know how taxing and draining it was. But now you're going to be able to clearly see how draining and taxing it has been once these people are removed. You start feeling refreshed. You start feeling renewed. You start feeling your damn self, honey, okay? You just start feeling here like confident, like you can do it all, like you can overcome the world. But you didn't realize it was the people around you. It was their energy. It was draining you and sucking you dry, okay? It's like this. Sometimes things don't make sense. You might be a drummer. But instead of hanging out with other drummers, your ass been hanging out with a bunch of flute players and then wondering why y'all don't see eye to eye. They don't understand your instrument. You don't understand theirs. OK, they always want to play the flute and act like the drums ain't ish. And then you just feeling disrespected. And it's like, wait a minute. OK, I'm about to find me some other drummers because y'all flute players is tripping and y'all deserve each other, baby. OK, that's my little analogy here for this. But ultimately, you're moving towards a more co-creative energy, a more stable energy energy and this is something that is part of your destiny this is something that's ordained here by source by god the divine spirit the universe okay to get you to move in a direction here that's more happy and comfortable for you because you're gonna have a vibe this i mean a tribe that's matching your vibe and a vibe that's matching your tribe and you ultimately deserve this versus feeling uncomfortable versus feeling unloved versus feeling like this type of outsider because you don't deserve that at all of course, I'd love to see you down in Orlando. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. It all helps times a million. Donations are greatly appreciated. You can check out my website for goodies. And I'm going to be talking to you later. Bye. All right, pile three. So we're going to get with it and get to it and find out what's your mystery message right now. What is it that needs to be uncovered in your life, honey? What is it that you need to hear and know right now? We about to find out here, pile three. And of course, I'm inviting you to hang out with me in Orlando for three magical days, okay? We are meditating. We are manifesting. We are healing. You get one-on-one -on -one readings with me. We're having a dance party. It's going to be the time of your life. We got our own indoor pool, lots of food, lots of drinks, okay? We're going to laugh, cry, talk, do it all, and you deserve it. Get away for a little bit treat yourself boo join me let's have a good time now let's see what's the mystery message for pile three we got to the sea so there's some sort of journey here that you are embarking on let's talk about this journey pile three pile three okay we got the loyal heart card so this could be a journey here with a specific person or something that really means a lot to your heart let's talk more about it what is this journey about, pile three? Mm, what is this journey about, pile three? What is this journey about, pile three? What is this journey about, pile three?
Okay, see, this is almost similar to pile one. I don't know if you was feeling drawn, you might want to check it out, but it's a little bit different, but it's a little bit similar. Okay, so this is talking about what you need to know is there is a journey that you're going on with a person. Okay, this person here um, either wants to confess something or talk to you about something, or maybe this person might want to go on a trip with you for some of you. There's something here. They're saying here that this person is willing to take more risks now when it comes to you guys' connection after being real stringent or being real, I don't know. It's like, I feel like this person was causing some sort of friction, even though they're not talking about friction here, or maybe y'all didn't really agree. There was something here, but they're saying that timing has changed something in this person. So this is somebody here where you probably haven't talked to them for a little bit. It could be, you know, some days, it could be some weeks, it could be some months. For some of you, it could be some years. But there's something here where timing has passed and it's making this person want to speak up, to profess something, to express what's in their heart, okay? This person wants to get back on the same page with you. They want to have some sort of peaceful resolutions with you. They want to come together. They want to... Yeah, I have like a sense of unity or something. Definitely. Okay? Definitely. And so, for the most part, this person's in their masculine energy. So, this could be a masculine or it could just be someone that's very much in their masculine energy. This person is feeling like they need to be very decisive. They need to speak up and they need to make the right moves here to kind of draw you in or reel you in. They want you to know here that they do have a certain loyalty towards you, a certain desire towards you. They want to be close to you. They have the desire. They have the loyalty for it. What else do we need to know about this person's pile three mystery message? It's a journey. Okay, what kind of journey with this person? Look, I'm telling you, this person feels like they need to step up or step out. It's a journey where they're trying to take some sort of actions here to bring balance in y'all's connection. They're saying here that this person is learning that they have to see your value because of the distance or the timing that has passed, okay? They're realizing how attached they are to you after a period of time where there's a distance or time has passed. So basically, you haven't really been talking to this person and they're realizing how much they miss you, how much attached they are to you. And so they're wanting to confess this in a certain type of way or hoping y'all can try to fix this or come together in a certain type of way. Hmm. Let's ask your advice. When there's another person involved, I always like to ask advice because spirit, what advice do you have for the collective pile three here? What advice do you have for pile three about this person's confession, their desires, this connection? What advice do you have? Ooh. Three of cups. Ten of cups. Okay. I mean, they're not necessarily saying anything bad. Okay. They're saying here that you and this person would be able to build some sort of friendship. A three of cups represents friendship and unity that could lead to a 10 of cups that can lead to a happy ending that can lead to some growth, some emotional connection. They're saying that there could be some positive movements forward, but it is a struggle with this person with a seven of swords. It's not necessarily an easy plan, okay? There might need to be some games played or something here, but it's a bit of a struggle. It's an uphill battle. But Spirit is saying that there is tower moments that would happen in this connection here that would have this person more passionate, more fiery, more in pursuit of you. They're definitely wanting some forward movement here. They're definitely wanting a two of cups with you. In this particular picture, which is rare in a two of cups, these people are getting married. It's usually in a ten of cups or a ten of pentacles, but in this one, it's in the two of cups. So this person, for some of you, could want some sort of long-term commitment. But it's saying that they're very hopeful about planting the seeds here for the long term. Okay, they're very hopeful here, excuse me, about where this can go. So Spirit is wanting you to know here that you have to first focus on the friendship and that there is hope for this connection, but it's an uphill battle 
and it's a slow progressing connection. So it's up to you if you got time for uphill battles and slow progress, because to each its own. And if that works for you, be all for it, because this person do got real emotions, real care, real feelings, real heart space, all of that. But then at the same time, um, it's not going to be easy. So just know the truth, okay? Make sure you join me in Orlando for the three-day retreat because you know you want to. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. It helps times a million. Donations always greatly appreciated. Check out my website for goodies. I'm going to be talking to you later, boo. Bye.